So about two months ago, I reviewed Nomad Sculpt, but now I'm going to show you a different 3D app for the iPad. Something that has recently came to the market, Balance 3D. This app is specifically designed for 3D modeling, whereas Nomad Sculpt was specifically designed for sculpting. Sometimes I wish I was able to learn more about 3D modeling, but sitting at my desk, glued to a computer all day doesn't sound very appealing. Now, with Valance 3D, you can learn 3D modeling on your iPad, all for $30. For this review, I'll be doing a simple demonstration of how the app works while I talk. The app comes with 12 pre-installed models for you to take a look at to see what you can potentially create. When you do create a new project, much like how Blender does, you start off with a simple cube, just waiting to be modeled as something new. You can create new edges with the loop cut tool, round out edges with the bevel tool, amongst other things. Such as extrude, poke, move, rotate, scale, pretty much what you'd need for 3D modeling. You can adjust the texture of the object, meaning you can make it metallic, matte, glass, the basics. While I was learning animation in college, my teacher taught that when dealing with the metallic slider, there's no in-between on it. You have to have it either 1 or 0. When you go to export the project, you have a variety of options, whether you're exporting it as an image or by exporting the object. When you export the object, you can import it into Nomad Sculpt to do sculpting on it. Then, if you wanted to, you can export that sculpt as a 3D object again, and then import that into Valance 3D. I recently watched a video saying that Milk Hall didn't use reference, and that his little head swoggle technique was his way of showing off. I should point out that while Milk Hall did hate using reference, he still used it, but in a different way than most people would. Basically, he'd study his reference enough to where he wouldn't need to take it with him, he'd be able to remember it. The one time he didn't use any reference was when he animated Madame Medusa in The Rescuers. It was this news alone that made aspiring animators believe that using reference was a bad thing. However, I'm here to clarify that the only reason he didn't use any reference for Madame Medusa was that... And he studied reference so much prior to then that he didn't really need it anymore. Everything was second nature to him. I bring this up in this review because for the vehicles the Amers animated for the classics, such as 101 Dalmatians, they had a cardboard model of Corolla's car, which they used as reference for its animation. Again, you can create models here for animation reference. However, it'd be even cooler if this app had animation tools within it. Whether or not we'll end up getting those animation tools in this app in the future, we'll just have to wait and see. If you're an inventor who wants to make models of your future inventions on the go, get this app. If you're a product designer who wants to design products on the go, get this app. If you want to make 3D backgrounds on the go, get this app. If you want to do 3D modeling, but you don't want to pay subscription services, get this app. And most of all, if you want to help support this app and for it to continue to grow, get this app. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.